Hello, this is Dave from Laughter Dimension on SpearLive.net. We're here at X06, the Xbox convention, the world's biggest video game show. We're here to see uh, what the new games are on the market, so why don't we get to it? Yeah! Check this out. It's my gamer tag. They give away a lot of free swag, so uh, let's see what they're giving us uh, today. Oh, it's a poster for a video game, Gears of War. Some kind of hentai, I don't really know. Oh, just a piece of cardboard, so. And I believe this is actually for, the, for your car. It's, it's uh, to show that you're an Xbox video game fan. All right, we're here with Green Skull. Now, where are you from, Green Skull? I'm from Calgary, Alberta. Calgary, and you came all the way here just to play video games? Pretty much. Excuse me, can we ask you a couple of questions as you play? I was just yeah. going to ask what exactly you're doing. It's a tug of war, and this is obviously geared towards, I'm going to say, prepubescent boys. I would say so. Look at that. Look at those. They got the physics right, I think. The tiny outfits, I think, are a little, you know. Could you excuse me for a moment? I kind of want to be alone with the game. Yeah. Major Nelson is your tag name then? That, that is my gamer tag. So you're a player just like all these people? And you. And me. Well, to, not, to tell the truth, I don't own an Xbox, but... Uh, Why not? I'm here investigating. What do you own? Uh, PS2. Why? Uh, it's, it's, you know what? It's okay. You'll outgrow it. So what, what's some cool stuff we got going on here today? Well, we got Gears of War. How's the game going? Oh, man. This game is uh, so intense. Is it, so this is the future, I, I assume, right? Yeah. This is the future. Who are you trying to kill? Uh, it's the locusts. They're like um, this alien. Uh, they're this alien race that are like taking over the humans. Oh, oh, oh! There's one. Headshot. There's one. He ah, ah. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. What did the locusts ever do to us? Um, they looked ugly. That's true. Now this is the new SmackDown, right? Yeah, it's a new SmackDown. Now they've added some realism to this one. Uh, is it true that you cannot, that's now in the game that you can get addicted to painkillers? I think so. Now this is where it's at, folks. This is a code simulator. They've made it so in the comfort of your own home you can edit the code to a game. It's almost like the real thing. So what's the game that might be coming out in the next 12 months that no one really knows that much about but it's going to knock people off their feet? Uh, I would have to say either Viva Pinata Crackdown is another one. All right, we're here with Chief Zando, and uh, we were wondering about the game. Everyone's talking about Viva Pinata. Can you give us a brief synopsis of the game, please? Uh, yeah, basically you have to run a little town filled with uh, pinata animals and make sure they're full of candy, and then they get sent off in a cannon to entertain children at their birthday parties, and they come back empty, and they start all over again, and they have to eat candy more. And then, uh, yeah, the like, you have different buildings that attract different animals. Uh, and they do their private dance to reproduce. Private dance? Yes, they, they go into their houses and they dance together and uh, that's how they reproduce. It doesn't sound like you get to kill anything at all in this game. Oh, there's, I think there's evil animals that you have to hit with shovels or something. Oh, okay. Well, that's at least some violence. I think I could play that. Now, Major Nelson, how did you, how did you come up with that? Uh, it's actually anybody that knows me from my blog, MajorNelson.com, or any of my podcasts. Um, it's actually when I started working with the Xbox team about three or four years ago, I came home one day uh, after I got the job and they said, you know, I, and I was, my TiVo had recorded an old episode of I Dream of Genie. And in that show, uh, I Dream of Genie, uh, Major Nelson, the main character, um, he is a, uh, uh, an astronaut, which is cool. He's single, which is cool. He lives on the beach, which is cool. And he astronaut bachelor, how can you get any better than that? That lives on a beach and keeps his woman in a bottle. I was going to ask you a question, actually, about uh, Gears of War. What do we have against the locusts? You know, you have to ask Mark Rain that, the guys from Epic, because I, I actually don't know the whole story. Okay, we're here with uh, Mark Rain. He's from Epic. What's your position with Epic, sir? I'm the vice president. And one of the shareholders, co-founder kind of thing. That's awesome. And what game do you have here today? What do you think? Gears of War. <laughs> so what do people need to know about this game? Why is it so good? Oh, I think they mostly know all, all they need to know about this game. It's so been so overhyped. Um, you know, it's just a great game to play, breathtaking visuals. There's lots of things that we're not going to tell them about the game until they get to go home and play it and learn for themselves. So we're pretty Easter cool. eggs? Not so much Easter eggs, but there's a lot of variety in the single player gameplay. There's great cinematics, great storylines, good dialogue. Ha, ah, ah. 
So I mean, it's just a really, really great game. I think people will be pretty excited about it. Oh, neat. And I have uh, another question. What do, why do, what do we have against these locusts? Why are we killing so many of them? What's, what's so bad about locusts? So these locusts have emerged from under the crust of the earth. And uh, the, they started it. You they know? started it? Yeah, they're, they're hell-bent on, on destroying our civilization. They came from under the earth. What more can you say? That's right. And so Marcus Phoenix's job is to... He was reinstated in the army even though he was put in jail for deserting the army. And you'll find out about that in the game. And he just wants to kick some ass and save his, uh, save his civilization. Same as me. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Well, while I'm not a huge video game fan, and no, I do not own an Xbox 360, I still found one thing here today that made the whole time worthwhile. Free food. Good night. It's pretty damn good.